We want to go across now, live and exclusive to one of India's foremost advocates, senior Supreme Court advocate Ram Jetmalani, one of India's foremost jurists, joining us on this broadcast, breaking his silence on the Tamil Nadu war for throne. Thank you very much, Mr. Jetmalani. Delighted having you with us on this broadcast live on India today. I want to begin by asking you, Mr. Jetmalani, about your thoughts on the unfolding crisis in Tamil Nadu and the governor's approach so far. He hasn't invited Sasikala despite her staking claim to form the next government. Do you believe this is inappropriate? Do you believe the governor is acting in the manner he must? You see, it is the constitutional duty of the governor to give a complete opportunity to anyone who claims to be a qualified chief minister at the present moment by reason of having sufficient number of voters in his or her favor. And I don't see why this simple exercise is receiving this kind of a uh, unfortunate appearance of a big terrible controversy that is going on. I believe that even Jayalalitha, who was a darling of the people in the state, did want Shashikala to become the successor. All right, if that is the wish of the deceased uh, uh, chief minister of the state, respect that wish, call then a meeting of the legislature and let the legislature then decide. It's a simple issue and I don't know why it is being complicated uh, by unnecessary niceties and, and, and this kind of uh, uh, vulgar attacks that are taking place. Mr. Jetmalani, you are I mean, suggesting this, that Sasikala is the chosen really successor is an to, our constitution. to, to Jai Lalita, but I could question what evidence is there to suggest that Sasikala is the chosen heir at every opportunity when Jayalalitha was supposed to decide have, who would step no in when she wasn't available? She not, made open and in charge. Made the one or the... Listen, I have, I have no particular uh, sort of understanding of all the facts involved. I am busy with too many other things. And I have not applied my mind to this since you are asking me this question. According to me, this question is being unnecessarily made a complicated question, which is so easy to solve. After all, there is no doubt that Sashikala has also some kind of a standing in the, in, the, in the population of the state. And if this was also the desire and the expressed desire, I mean, I am assuming from press reports that uh, this was the report, this, this was the desire of the deceased lady, then give, give some trial to it, that's all. And how long will it last? And uh, don't tell me that members of parliament depend upon who the actual person is in office. I mean, you are not being very fair to the, uh, to the integrity and honesty of these MLAs also. Let her, let her assume office if that was the desire of her. So, so you believe, state. Mr. Jetmalani, that the governor's actions so far, that the governor's actions so far have not been in keeping with the spirit of the constitution, that he should have in fact invited Sasikala to form the next government, Mr. Jetmalani? Believe that that's a, that that's a, that's a, that is a very very loaded question which I am not prepared to answer. I don't know what the governor is thinking, and it is very unfair that I should assume. I am merely giving you my suggestion that is a very simple matter which is unnecessarily being complicated by this kind of controversies that are going on in the state. Call this lady, after all there is some sense of chivalry, call this lady particularly when she was the chosen successor of the, of the deceased chief minister and within two days you can resolve this problem on the floor of the house. Why carry on this huge controversy in the press? It's being wasted, a complete waste of time and it is an insult to our constitution. The strong words there from Ram Jet Malani, one of India's foremost lawyers, saying that this delay is an insult to the constitution. I want to re read to you, Mr. Jet Malani, 
from the note that was sent by Governor Vidya Sagar Rao. This is a legal note that he's got before him. In this note, he says that Sasikala could be ruled out after the Supreme Court judgment comes. So he's suggesting that because the Supreme Court judgment may go against her, therefore there is no guarantee that she will get elected as a legislator within six months. Therefore, it is better to wait for the Supreme Court order rather than press ahead at this time. Is that appropriate in law or do you think that uh, the governor should not be preempting what no, the SC may or may not do? Better listen, I, I don't have opinion. Listen, I have no opinion on each of these uh, silly issues that are being raised. A simple solution is to seek the will of the of the elected representatives of the people as early as possible. And since Sashikala has been already projected for some time, give her a chance. One day or two days will make no difference. Should the governor wait for the Supreme Court Have judgment the, to come? The Supreme Court decision. You need. You think it's better to wait for the Supreme Court judgment, or should he be well, asking I, I, her? Before the Supreme Court judgment to prove a majority I, on the floor of the House. I do, please, uh, uh, frankly, uh, frankly, I have not applied my mind to this question. I mean, it's, uh, these technicalities, I have no time to study, sit down and make a study. But it's a matter of common sense that here is one projected Chief Minister who probably was the desire of the deceased Chief Minister. Give her a chance, call the members of the... Uh, elected assembly there and decided in, in, the, in the next three days you can decide the whole controversy. Why are you carrying on all these huge debates and my friend Subramanian Swami has got involved. Now I don't want to I, I don't want to say anything about his views about it. Probably he has made some study and which I have not. No, Subramanian Swami says that BJP ministers are involved. He hasn't taken any names, but he used the term. They are showing undue interest in what's happening in Tamil Nadu. Listen, I am an expelled member of the BJP. That criticism can't apply to me. <laughs> no, sure. And I have not expressed myself at all on this issue until just now when you have forced me to come on to the, come to the come to your. Uh, this performance. Essentially, if I was to summarize what you are saying, Mr. Jet Malani, you are saying there should be no undue delay, that Sasikala should be called in and that she should be given an opportunity to present her majority before the floor of the house. The charge is that she is holding MLAs against their wish, that they are being locked up, think, yes, that they are being incarcerated against their desire. How do you, how, what do you make of this charge, sir? Now, if, if there are MLAs, if there are MLAs who are being locked up against their will, they will surely vote against her. Give them a chance. Think that the Supreme Court judgment is a factor at all. The Supreme Court judgment is supposed to come sometime this week, which is what the judges said last Monday. The, the governor says, just wait for a few days but so I that the uncertainty frankly, around the frankly, judgment I eases. Do not even, listen, I must tell you that I have been... Ex but listen, please and take my word for it that I have not applied my mind to this question at all. And I am thinking aloud with you when you are asking me these questions. And I really don't know why this controversy has arisen. It, according to me, it is so easy to resolve it. And all this publicity that is being given to this huge dispute in the state is, is uncalled for. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. You're being careful, you're being calibrated, yet you're saying very much. If nothing else, at least have some... Uh, Ram? At least, at least have some sense of chivalry for a lady. Okay? Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Ram Jetmalani, thank you very much for joining us. Mr. Jetmalani suggesting that the appropriate thing to have done was to have invited Sasikala, given her an opportunity to prove her floor, a majority on the floor of the house and then taken it from there. He is not wanting to comment on whether it's better to wait for the Supreme Court order to come or not, but he's saying, call her in, don't delay this. Ram Jetmalani there, joining us and breaking his silence on this big, big controversy. Thank you very much, Mr. Jetmalani. With this, we take you back to our studios.